What do you want me to do? Please, let me handle it. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> you sure? Mm-hmm, yep. I got it. All right, have and have not fans, you just saw the sneak peek for tonight's episode, The Family's Name. So please take a moment, like the video, hit subscribe, click the bell notification icon and select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post new content and follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Now, we basically have about 20 seconds or so of Catherine and Hannah talking over the phone and the dialogue is pretty straightforward. You know, Catherine's like, so what do you want me to do? And it's like, oh no, let me handle this. This is going to be fun. Are you sure? I got it. Now we do know on the conversation, uh, Hannah's going to be discussing the whole thing with Jim popping up, you know, in and out of the house, threatening her. And in the trailer, Catherine tells Hannah that if he does that again, you know, um, I think she's like a victim. So basically if Jim pops up unannounced like that again, then, you know, he can be kicked out of Catherine's house. But in this particular clip, I really do think, especially the way that Hannah's so giddy about it, I want to say this has to do with Veronica's loans. And like I said in my video from last week, I believe, I think it was last week or, yeah, I think it was last week. But basically it was the video where I said about, you know, with Veronica help Catherine get out of jail if Catherine tells Hannah to allow the loans to still remain on default because she's $54 million in debt. So I think that Hannah's going to have her fun. But at the same time, it's like one of those situations where I hope Hannah, I know a lot of people are happy that Hannah's finally getting a one up on the people who treat her like dirt. But at the same time, this is Veronica, but you could argue that, you know, if this show has taught us anything, especially through, you know, like uh, Jim and Catherine of all people, if you have no money and your reputation is shot, then you literally have nothing like all these connections and, you know, powerful quote unquote friends will turn their back on you. So it's interesting because Hannah could take everything away from Veronica like this. And remember, not only has Veronica been disrespectful and treated her like trash, but remember, um, her and Benny were knocking boots for a while. So yeah, it's just one of those things where the cussing Christian will come out on top. But I just hope that Hannah doesn't do too much because remember, this is crazy ass Veronica here. So it's just one of those situations where we'll have to wait and see how things play out. I mean, Hannah's going to have her fun now. I have no doubt about that. But I just hope that she doesn't do it to the extent of, I guess you could say, feeling the wrath of Veronica. But another argument could be made, looking at all the links that Jim is going through to not just get power of attorney. But, I mean, he's made it clear he only needs 500K. And it's like, if he would simply ask Hannah, then, hey, things could actually go well. Just like I'm pretty sure that Veronica is going to do everything within her power to not grovel be in the at the feet of the maid so who's to say that maybe jim and veronica won't double team hannah i'm just saying to get what they want because i feel like you know veronica being veronica jim would still well no jim wants to kill her because i was about to say those two work together he gets power of attorney and he will uh, let her loan stay on default but you know it's just well that could be an unholy alliance but it, it just depends on so many factors but um, with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What kind of quote unquote fun do you think Hannah's going to do in order to get Veronica Harrington to, um, you know, rem get her loans to remain on default? Not to mention, I'm pretty sure Veronica finds out about Hannah's power. That's also going to trickle down to Celine because obviously... Uh, when Jim gets served with the papers for child support, which honestly shouldn't that have happened by now? Um, not just serve the papers. Veronica did that, but I mean like called the court or something because then he had like 24 hours to get the money. I just feel like uh, we might see Hannah and Celine going at it because remember back in like season one when Benny was in the hospital due to the hit and run, Hannah kept calling the house, the crier house, and Celine was supposed to give Catherine the message about 
her being in the hospital, but she never gave them. So you could argue that Hannah could be like, oh, well, remember what you were doing when, when, when I was with my son, when I was telling you to tell Catherine why I couldn't be at work and you wouldn't do it. So now you're coming to me to get, well, for Jim to get the money to pay your child support for your children. Now look how the tables have turned. So Hannah could have some fun with this. But with that being said, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, please like and subscribe as I mentioned before. Remember, I just posted the giveaway video last night. And uh, you have until basically when the ball drops on New Year's Eve slash day. So midnight Friday. Check it out. Um, 11 people will win various DVDs. So uh, if you would like to donate to the channel, feel free to do so on PayPal or Cash App. Or you can join Patreon for as little as $1 a month. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next video.